Earlier this evening, Palmer Report pointed out how suspicious it was that Donald Trump's personally loyal Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had just met with Trump's equally loyal Attorney General William Barr, just as Barr's press conference about the Mueller report was being announced. The Trump regime needed an international distraction to take attention away from tomorrow's release of the redacted Mueller report, and sure enough, now it has won, Kim Jong-un. This evening, North Korea test-fired a new tactical guided weapon, according to a report from the Associated Press. How convenient for Donald Trump. Just as he desperately needs something to split the headlines tomorrow, Kim Jong-un does him a huge favor, even as the media would rather be putting 100% of its focus tomorrow on poring over the hundreds of pages in the redacted Mueller report. Is this supposed to be some kind of random coincidence? Or are we supposed to believe that Kim decided of his own accord to help Trump out with a perfectly timed missile test? If this was all Kim's doing, why was Kim's buddy Mike Pompeo meeting with William Barr this afternoon? Let's be clear here, if it can be proven that Barr told Pompeo to create a distraction and Pompeo then asked Kim to fire off a missile, Barr and Pompeo both risk going to prison for treason. In any case, it's becoming more clear by the hour that Donald Trump's most loyal officials are in a frantic panic ahead of tomorrow's release of the redacted Mueller report. It must be phenomenally damaging to Trump, even with Barr's strategic pro-Trump redactions. Stay tuned, because tonight and tomorrow are going to be surreal.